First, we're going to talk a little bit about the Bell La Padula model. Some people butcher the name and say La Padula, La Papapa, uh, La Padula, but really um, it's La Padula, and uh, it's one of the first mathematical models that gave us an information flow model. And it really gets into talking specifically about the violations of system policy and confidentiality. So when you talk about Bell La Padula, you talk about confidentiality. And one of the things that you'll see oftentimes referred to um, on some of the exams that you take out there are ways and tricks that you can use in order to help get you down to a 50-50 on many of these questions. And these models, you certainly will see them on your exam, so just pay attention to it. So Bell Lab Padula focused on confidentiality, but it also has the, the, a couple different concepts here that are super important and really was the base of creating a lot of these subsequent models that were um, coming to fruition with the, the military and the Department of Defense. So they have the simple security rule, the star property rule, and the strong star property rule. Let's just talk about these for a second. So the simple security rule means that the whoever or whatever data that you have cannot read the data within an object that resides at a higher security level. So oftentimes we say, no read up, no read up. The next one, the, strong, the star property rule is any subject cannot write to a lower security level, which would be no write down, no write down. So we have no read up, and no write down. And then the third one here, the strong star property rule is when you're talking about a subject or information that's out there uh, that is able to read and write to an object, the clearance level and the classification must be equal. So we have no read up, no write down, and then the clearance and the classification labels or the level of the data need to be equal. And that's the Bell La Padula or La Padula.